Good afternoon, vacation rental hosts, and welcome to my review and tutorial of Guesty for hosts. I did a review for Guesty for pros, but that is for hosts with four or more listings. Okay, Guesty for hosts is for hosts with up to three listings. Guesty for hosts, which is this review, was your porter. Okay. Now, Guesty purchased your porter. The layout is basically identical. There's been some features added, which I will call out. Behind me, you see the homepage. So let's jump into it. Before we continue, we have a discount code. Guesty for Hosts has offered all viewers of this video. Uh, they don't do free trials, but you will get $20 off your first bill. That's uh, about a 50% discount. Thank you, Guesty, for doing that. The code is optimized and it will be in the description below, a link you can just click as well as the code. Now, when you come on here, you want to go Guesty for hosts, okay? There's also a phone application. Just be sure that you download the application called Guesty for hosts. The application that just says Guesty, that is for Guesty for pros. I'll put in the description the difference between the two for clarity because there's a lot of fours going on here. All right, we're gonna go through everything like usual, like my other reviews. We're gonna go through timeline, calendar, cleaning, messaging, and menu, which has a bunch of other features, including new damage protection, which we will go through at that time. But first, I want to welcome Airbnb to my channel. Everybody welcome them. There's been a few things that have happened recently. I'll get into it when we get into the editing listing that uh, I have discussed publicly on my channel and there has been a change made to the platform almost immediately. So I might have to create some kind of a secret group because this one tactic I had was really powerful and Airbnb asked Guesty to take it away quite soon after my last video was released. But welcome, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, first, I want to put them up, Guesty for hosts on the pricing dashboard. You'll see that they are $44 for one listing, so you can compare them to Hospitable, uh, IGMS, Hostfully, and the other ones when I do them. If you have any platforms that you want me to review, please put it in the comment section. Okay, starting with the timeline, this is basically standard. It's not so useful um, as well. It just gives you check-in, check-out, cleaning tasks. Uh, let's let's dive in right to the calendar. By the way, I wanted to say that what is the point of a PMS tool? PMS means property management system or software. It helps you automate a lot of your Airbnb short-term rental activities. And so what we need from a good property management system is messaging, automated messaging, and there's a lot of variability within automated messaging, but that works always. We don't want a reservation going that doesn't receive a message. Cleaning automation, those are the two biggest things. And then there are um, integrations that can matter. There's extra features that can matter like damage protection. There can be direct booking websites. So there's a lot of extras, but there's also one more thing. And that is the usability of the platform. And that that's kind of the reason why I really like Guesty for hosts. You can see here, it's very simple. It's easy when we go through it, things are gonna be intuitive. There's not gonna be a huge learning curve like you might have with other platforms that I've reviewed on this channel. Okay, that I view as a positive. There's plenty of tools out there, we're learning all of them. Let's not have to learn another one. So they have taken design and designed it thoughtfully, okay? So that compliment goes to your porter because as I said, this your porter was a prior PMS tool that Guesty bought. So your porter developed this dashboard here. Let's go to calendar though. This is where we get, you know, we get a little more interesting stuff going on here in the calendar. Okay, remember this is only for three. There's no search filter here, but that's, you don't need one with only for three. So you can change the price here if you want. Just remember to sync to the platforms that you are currently on. This host is using Airbnb and VRBO. However, caution, if you're using Price Labs, change your prices within Price Labs. Even if there is a syncing connection going on between your tool, you still have to go to Price Labs and make those customizations and those changes. That's the best practice there. Okay, I just wanna click on, on Caleb Perez here and show you just kind of what it looks like, what how the layout is. And same information is provided. As we scroll down, this host has not partaked in damage protection, but we're gonna get to that in a second. It is it is nice that it's 
totally built into this platform. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is custom questions. This is kind of cool and unique to uh, a guestie for hosts. So in this particular case, the guests need to register their car before they arrive. So they're giving the information here for the guest as well as additional guest names. So that is nice. Down here, we have all of the automated messages. And this is cool if you wanna edit or change a message. Let's say you told the guest they can check out at 12, but your message says 10. Well, you could come in here and you can change that message right in here. Or you have a bad guest and these are sent, but here you have a bad guest and this next one is um, you're offering them a discount or telling them you're gonna leave a five-star review. You can actually go here and pause the message. So keep that in mind. And then you got going to the cleaners, Poconos cleaners, great. We're all set here. Let's go to the cleaning tab. So this actually seems for being, now this tool, if you haven't already imagined, is, is rather basic. It's for hosts up to three listings. There's not a bunch of old bells and whistles, but that's kind of one of the advantages. It's easy to learn. This is pretty robust. Within the application, the cleaners can actually take photos when they're cleaning, that they have damage, so that you can have records. Okay, I like that. There is one caution though. This platform does not allow cleaning notifications for alterations or cancellations, okay? So you can create a cleaner uh, portal here, which is nice for sure. That kind of alleviates that issue. But typically what I would like to see is if cleaners prefer a, a text or an email, that whenever there's a, you know, if there's a new reservation, great, we send it. But what if that is an extra day? They add on an extra day, the cleaner needs to know that. Okay, and right now they'll have to go to that portal. So keep that in mind with this tool. And this is especially cool because you don't have to give the cleaner uh, co-host access then if you if you did want them to see a calendar because the calendar here is built in. With co-host access, the, the cleaner can actually see all of the revenue data. Airbnb hasn't come up with the idea yet to give limited access to certain um, service folks, co-hosts. Now I wanna just call out this checklist. Maybe you don't need to use it, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll give the devil's advocate position here. The cleaners, let them be the experts. If you're micromanaging them on how to clean, maybe you need to find new cleaners. So what I, I don't give checklists. Um, I go and I review the cleaning and, I, and I'm very harsh on both sides. I'm, I give bonuses and, and money on if they do good and I am uh, very harsh if they do bad, but I let them know how to do good. Um, but what I don't tell them is I don't give them nitpick and give them checklists. They're an entrepreneur, they have their job, they know what my standards are and they can do it however they want to do it as long as it's fitting in within the checkout and checkout times, okay? So I think that's not needed. One time task, let's say the guest wants a mid-stay cleaning, here's where you would schedule that. Now notice this watch tutorial, I like that. Cool feature, guestie for host, that's gonna tell you about this dashboard, what we're looking at. They're gonna give you a little bit more information about what you're looking at to help speed your limited learning curve with this tool. Same thing you're gonna see in messages, there's a, there's a few more tabs here, but they have a watch tutorial. Now, how messages work in Guesty for Hosts is first, you wanna create the message template here, okay? And then you wanna apply the message to when you're gonna send it. So create the message and then apply rules to when you send it. We're gonna click that in a second, I think, but here, auto inquiry response. I had a question to the Guesty team and they, they answered me. Uh, auto inquiry, so on Airbnb there's an inquiry, but there's also a booking request. So an auto inquiry responds to booking requests as well. Auto inquiry is when a guest, an inquiry is when a guest is just sending a message without intent to book. A booking request is, let's say you don't have instant book on, so they have an intent to book, but you have to accept, okay? Those are all responded here before the actual booking. All right, let's click on automated messages now. Here, uh, we have scheduled messages here. This is a live account, so they're already ready to go on these. Hey, you, pay attention now. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video, but I have a favor. Can I ask you a favor? I would like you to hit the subscribe button. Become a subscriber of my channel. It is free and it's like reviews on vacation rental platforms. They're very important. And so subscribers are very important to me. And if you can do that for me, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Back to the review. Now, if we go to advanced setting here, something is kind of cool, a feature that I found. So you can create a message that only sends to the guest before ch if, the, if the day before check-in is available or the day after. Now, how is that useful? Right now, I just had a guest uh, message me, hey, can we book, uh, can we extend our reservation for checkout Monday instead of uh, Sunday? And um, I said yes, but this would have said, this would have preemptively said it to him and all other reservations. Right now, I do it manually. Hey guys, by the way, there is a, a day before or after if you want to reserve it for this price. Here, it does it automatically. I like that. That is a big plus. And then there's times where you want to exclude messages for last minute requests. Um, you know, if you have a pre-check-in message, you're just going to skip that and send them the digital guidebook right away. 
that here is where you can schedule when to send it, apply it to what listings and apply what template to send for this particular trigger. Okay, weekly reminder messages. It, let's say you have to take out the trash on a, on a particular day uh, or something like that. You can, you can set that up here. That's a cool feature in Guesty for Hosts that a Hospitable does not have. Nor do they have the feature of sending a message out uh, before and after if there's, a, if there's an available day available. Uh, here's also message activity. You can also change or delete a message for a bad guest uh, if you want. I, I prefer the calendar. I think it makes it easier because on that tab, all of the messages are going to show up though they will be in chronological order. Now, auto review, uh, that's where Guesty will send a review on your behalf. Now, this doesn't affect, everybody has said specifically, this does not uh, affect your search rank if you review guests or not. However, why don't you take advantage of this by mentioning your Airbnb? Okay, so if someone had, you know, it's a low probability, but you might as well optimize everything. So how I do it is I say, hey, thanks for staying at the Belmonte Penthouse in Medellin, Colombia. Or this man, this you know, this property, this uh, reservation was managed by Baylo Airbnb Property Management in whatever city. Okay, guest arrival form is cool. It's another unique feature. If there's a, th for this particular host, they need to send car information, or what you could do is ask for celebration. If the guest is celebrating a some kind of an anniversary, birthday, whatever championship. If they, if, you, if they let you know that, then you could do something special for them. And hospitality is where hosts are really differentiating themselves from right now. It is where, where you're buying, if you're making a good choice on where you're buying, and then your hospitality is, is uh, the differentiating factor. So that's cool, I like that. Sending a one-time message. I just go to the app personally, um, but if you're using various platforms, then this could be uh, useful. However, send one-time message is cool if um, you need to send a bulk message to a bunch of guests. A few months ago, one of my guests in the Belmonte Penthouse in Colombia ripped off the front window. So I actually went one by one guest. I use currently hospitable, but I had to go one by one guest and message them this, this, this. Here, this feature again, very cool feature. So Guesty for Host is uh, making a strong showing. I might have to put a rank chart up, but they'll be right up there at the top, if not number one, the very easy platform, cheap, good customer service. Let's continue to the menu item. Now, my listing, now Airbnb, welcome back again. I, I want to welcome you. I want to cont continue to welcome you. You are here watching. Now, the, the reason, one of the reasons why I know is because um, I promoted a cool hack you could do here on, um, on Guesty. You could change your title to longer than 50 characters. And let me show you what that looks like soon after I said that. And it was one of a few things in a, uh, together, um, that went away. So Airbnb reached out to Guesty and said, hey, delete, you gotta get rid of that. You gotta put a limit at 50 characters. So you can see here, this is more than 50 characters. This was a cool, really cool hack because Airbnb has de-emphasized the title in the search rank, in the search page. They've really de-emphasized the title. It's still there, but they de-emphasized it. So this becomes just another piece of text. It's not there to get a click. It's there to be read here. So it's one of the only things they're gonna read. So I have the most important things here up at the top, probably 80 characters. Anyways, they don't have that anymore, but maybe I'm working on a secret project that uh, I may reveal in the coming months. If you wanna hear about that, put yourself on my newsletter. You'll find that link in the description as well. And I don't spam, I in fact barely ever send emails, maybe four to eight emails per year. Okay, but this is where you would edit your listing and you can edit everything in here, okay? I'm not gonna get into that right now. If you want me to put a question in the, in the comments, but it's pretty straightforward. It's very straightforward. So damage protection, if we go out here, damage protection is new and it's insurance. And I really love it because they, if you click view plans here, they tell you straight up how much it's gonna cost. Coverage up to 3000 bucks, $45. So how you wanna think about that is, well, how expensive is your home? What type of guests are you renting to? And what's the potential amount of damage? Okay, so if you have six reservations a month, that's gonna be $270. Okay, so if you have, you have to estimate here. It's a business, you gotta estimate a lot of things. Okay, let's say you have one damage claim a year. Um, you're you're uh, paying 3,000 bucks about per year. And so if you claim coverage on there, then you're, you're basically breaking even. So you wanna decide if you wanna do that or not. Okay, so that's, that's kinda how you, you would think about it. Let's cancel this and go back. Now, the other thing I wanna cover is the website builder. Look at this. I, this host does not use it, but I went through on my own account 
And there, it's very easy to do. There's just a few clicks. And then do you wanna see the final product of a guesty website? You can use your own domain. I for now am using the guesty domain, but let's pull it up. This is what a website looks like for uh, guesty. You can see here's the, Here's the URL and you know, it's nice. And they allow uh, Stripe or PayPal to be linked. So you can literally get a website up with your own URL in 15 minutes or less because all of this text is already in here. So that's really, this might be the, the best one I've seen. I mean, in terms of ease, it just goes up right away. Now, hostfully, they have a 3D feature, which is kind of cool, but you know, that's very cool. Actually, you should check that video if you uh, haven't already seen it. That's a, little, that's a much more robust and expensive tool, but they have some really cool features there, especially if you're using the Guesty digital guidebooks. I'm not gonna go over much about um, you know expense tracking or statistics. It's a start. None of the tools are really good at it yet. I keep track on my own private documents. Uh, shared calendar is, is we discussed that sharing with your cleaner so they don't have or even a host if you're a property manager you could share with a host auto snooze is if you wanted your you know this was popular back in the day when um, you know the government agents would be working from 9 to 5 p.m. and so hosts would uh, snooze their listing from 9 to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday and they would get around the loss <laughs> funny huh so but you could still do that for some reason if you wanted to do that you could do that here Oh, Airbnb ranking booster. Let's have a, let's click this. Let's have a look at what this is. So they're gonna improve their search performance by doing something every 24 hours. So they will make invisible changes to the description. Okay. And price increase. Okay, got it. Uh, let me give a uh, public service announcement. Let me, let me bring myself up bigger for this. It's not necessary. I have a video on this, but Airbnb back in the day, if you changed your calendar every day, if you added some text and changed the photos around, that did affect your search rank back in the day when things were less advanced as they are now. Nowadays, categorically, changing, flipping your last two photos, raising a dollar on your listing, adding a space or a period in your text, categorically does nothing to your uh, search rank. So. While it's a cool feature and you, a lot of people like to put it on just in case, it is not doing anything for your search. So when you're choosing tools to get, this should not come into play. It is not going to move the needle on your business. Back to the review. Security deposit is also cool. So I'm going through right now of building my own website, okay? I'm gonna show it to you now just because it's been a big, big headache. Many months in process. I realize now, you know what? I just need to get a website um, that's already ready to go because I'm seeing a lot of problems, especially with security deposit is one of the problems. That's why I thought of it. Uh, but this is what my website looks like. So security deposit is, oh, it's not loading. What's going on? What's going on? Those are, those should be some photos. This is cool. All right, so security deposit, I like to see that because that was kind of one of the issues that I have, you know, collecting a security deposit, this and that. Smart pricing, you can connect it with price size beyond pricing wheelhouse, which is great, especially if you're using various platforms and direct booking. But remember, go to that platform to make your changes. I have reviews on all of those tools. I will link them in the description. Smart locks, same thing, and it's fine, it's great. If you, if you want to do it, this host is not doing it. But I just want to say that your biggest concern in terms of theft, why you want to change the lock every time, change the code every time, is not guests, actually. It's cleaners. It's service people. It's neighbors who realize you're running a short-term rental, okay? So it's kind of false security. You actually don't need to change your lock every time, uh, but you do need to be vigilant about all of those other things I mentioned. It's a nice to have for sure, but if it, sometimes it causes a lot of headaches. And if that's the case, I say get rid of it add new reservation uh, if direct booking you can add a reservation directly here if you, someone got a hold of you through some other route and that wraps up my review of guesty for hosts all the relevant links will be in the description again i would like you to uh, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my content so i can uh, know that you're enjoying it and create more for you i look forward to interacting with you in the comments below